How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you the difference between a fifth wheel and a gooseneck and kind of discuss the pros and cons of each. Um, what you need as far as expense wise and why people like one versus the other and uh, just sort of explaining what I know about them. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here in a little while but make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got some cool videos coming up. We're going to be doing one that's going to help you explain to you how to make it easier to back in your campsites. So make sure you subscribe, you don't miss that one. And uh, like I said, we're still gonna do them four scanning at semi truck versus pickup truck video. So uh, they're coming up. I just, I've been real busy. You see, it's the first time I uploaded in a little while. So, but they are coming up, don't worry. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got a cool video coming up here real soon. I'm gonna explain how to approach a campsite and in a method to back in a little bit easier for you. I think it'll really make your life a lot easier, especially in type tight t campgrounds. Plus, I'm still going to do that semi truck versus pickup truck in that four scan video for you. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started here on the fifth wheel versus gooseneck, and hopefully, this helps you out. Kind of helps you ex understand the difference between the two, and uh, make a decision on what kind of trailer you want, and what kind of hitch you want, and go from there. So we'll go ahead and get started. So this is what I'm talking about. We got a fifth wheel here. It's got a pin on it, like on a semi truck. That's called a king pin. And then this is our gooseneck. Uh, gooseneck will it sits down on a ball. I'll show you the hitches here in a minute. Now, one thing to know, note it, to know between both of them really is this particular gooseneck. You can take these bolts out and slide a fifth wheel pin up in there if you want to use a fifth wheel. And on they campers now have what's called a pin box. So the pin sits in a box and then you can use a, a gooseneck to my understanding. I, to be honest, I've never used one and I haven't seen one in person, but some people like them and I'll explain to you why they like them here in, in a little while. So we'll go ahead and look at the hitches here. So this is the fifth wheel hitch for the kingpin and I got these installed in my truck already, but that's your gooseneck setup for the the gooseneck with the ball. The gooseneck is real similar to just a conventional like trailer hitch like you'd find on a boat. Um, just goes that on and locks on. So price-wise, between the two hitches, I, like this is a cheap, it's not cheap, but I mean, this is a the lower price range fifth wheel hitch. To buy this, you're looking at like twelve hundred dollars, versus to buy this this set up here, you're looking at I think it was like three hundred dollars. So you're looking at savings up front for the gooseneck. Um, now the the easiness to hook up is where the trade off really is. A fifth wheel is a lot easier to hook up because you got these guides in here. Number one, so if you're off just a little bit. It'll usually push your trailer over and put you right in as long as you got your dolly set right. Whereas a gooseneck, you got to be right on top of it and drop it right down in. Plus a fifth wheel, you don't have to worry about stopping, coming back in the right spot. You just back in, and once it hits this, uh, there's a release in here. I got to close now. Once you hit that release, it automatically slides it shut, and um, you know you're back far enough. Whereas gooseneck, you might find yourself getting out and in a hundred times. Another downside about the gooseneck is. You have to run safety chains, whereas on a fifth wheel, you don't run safety chains. So that's something else to consider. And my understanding of this is because a fifth wheel is pretty much locking by itself. It's If you pull out with a fifth wheel open, it's going to fall off your truck right then and there immediately. Whereas if you pull out with a gooseneck not locked, you won't notice it till you hit a big bump and it'll, it'll actually pop up off the ball and slide back and you won't know that till you're out on the road so it's real dangerous both of them's dangerous but i mean one of them you're moving and the other one you're not so that's 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 my understanding i don't know if that's true or not but i've heard that from a few reputable people another uh con to the fifth wheel is whenever besides the price is you got this little pivot here you can see that a little bit but a reason a big reason a lot of guys like the the goosenecks is that ball can sit on there and really flex so if you're if you're backing into somewhere like my driveway here 
that's just all un uneven terrain. So when I come down in here, I, I come down a driveway and I loop up in front of where my truck is now. And my trailer's sitting at one grade, my pickup's sitting in another grade, my trailer's sitting this way. It gives that trailer room to flex, whereas with the fifth wheel, you only got like at 15 degrees or so. And then you're actually loading your springs of your pickup truck one way or the other, which is, is hard on your pickup truck bushings and stuff. Plus, you lose traction if it's pulling your drive wheel up off the ground. You're going to be losing traction. And it's going to be real easy to spin out. So that's a big reason people like the goosenecks. Um, another reason people like the goosenecks is these fifth wheels will actually wear out over time. This jaw in here will wear down and the kingpin will wear down. Whereas, and a, a ball and a gooseneck uh, hitch will too, but the difference is, is on the gooseneck, your hitch is sitting down on top of that ball all the time. So you always got that weight on top of that ball where it can't shift forward and backwards. Whereas on these fifth wheels, when they're worn out, your weight's sitting on this plate. So you're gonna get some shifting like this. So you'll always have a little bit of a bang, 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 bang once you start getting your your fifth wheel worn out now don't get me wrong it takes a long long time for that to happen um chances are you're not going to experience that but it, it, that is that is one reason people uh choose the gooseneck over the fifth wheel now another reason people like the fifth wheel over the gooseneck also has to do with hooking up when you drop a fifth wheel now on a motorized camper like mine where you don't got to crank it by hand it don't really matter but i just dropped that gooseneck i got a load of gravel in there so it weighs a little bit on a fifth wheel you just lower it down to where your feet touch the ground and you can pull off from under it whereas on a on a gooseneck particularly if you're loaded and i don't have much in here but it's it's heavy enough to notice a difference so on a gooseneck your ball's sitting up inside of here so you got to go down to when your feet touch the ground plus you got to crank the dollies down up over top of that ball in your bed in order to pick pull out so it's a lot i wouldn't say it's a lot harder but it's 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 more strenuous to to drop a loaded gooseneck than it is a fifth wheel now it's not that that much harder but it is it's enough to that people use that as a pro for the fifth wheel. I know several people, that's their main reason for choosing a fifth wheel over a gooseneck. So I hope this video helped you out there. So where do I stand with all this? To be honest, I either way is fine with me. I, I'm i not biased one way or the other. I've been in the trucking industry. I was actually born into the trucking industry. Um, so I am a little biased towards the fifth wheels, but I do like the flexibility of that um, gooseneck. Now my camper doesn't really matter because we're mainly just camping at campgrounds anyway. So they're usually wide open and relatively flat. So that twisting factor doesn't come in. And uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I've been in the trucking industry since I was, I was born into it. My dad's a truck driver. My grandfather was a truck driver. So uh, that, that uh, banging forward and backwards that I was talking about when your fifth wheel gets worn out is sort of second nature to me. I, I honestly don't, it does, I don't even notice it anymore where people that are uh, riding my truck, my semi trucks got a worn out. It's not worn out, but it's got a little bit of wear in it. People riding that and they'll notice it that's never really ridden in a semi or they're used to driving just newer stuff. So, but like I said, I'm, I'm used to it. I, it, I, it honestly doesn't bother me. A lot of it has to do with your driving style too. If you're constantly pulling out like hammer down and jamming on the brakes, that's going to make that fifth wheel bang a lot harder and make it more uh, noticeable. Now the gooseneck, I like it because, like I said, I I have had a lot on construction sites and stuff, hauling dirt and gravel, and we use it as a dumpster also for uh, getting out houses. I do find myself getting in spots where if I that the thing was a fifth wheel, I think I would be maxed out tilt in my bed plus i think i wouldn't be able to get in a lot of places too because i think i'd be loading my spring so hard that i would be taking drive uh traction off my wheels so something to consider there like i said I'm not biased one or the other it's whatever you 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 like it's your truck it's your equipment so whatever 
whatever you like. One thing I would look into a little bit more in depth, like I said, I haven't used those pin boxes before. I don't know much about them, but my understanding is that it just clips on there and allows you to use a gooseneck. And if you're going in a lot of tight camping places or uh, boondocking a lot where don't have much room, it might be something to look into. So, like I said, make sure you subscribe. We got that video coming in. I'm going to show you how to back up a trailer real easy, getting in and out of tight places. Plus, I'm going to do some four scan videos, and I'm still going to do that semi truck video also. So, just just a fun video I'm going to do. So, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you got any questions, drop it down in the comments, and I'll help you out as best I can. Till next time, you guys stay safe out there.